Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. A lot of stuff changing here this morning as we're getting a lot of reports of trees down. Uh, we have debris covering roads. Some roads are closed and also school delays and cancellations for the day. Yeah, and we were just talking before we went to uh, to the break there. Meigs County again, if you can stay home this morning, please stay home as you're getting feet of water reported being flooded across uh, much of the area. So yeah. Again, if you know someone that lives in that area, maybe they don't watch the news in the morning, give them a quick heads up, let them know to hang out till at least the sun comes up. Yeah, it morning. is a storm alert weather day. And Allison, this is exactly why, because people need to know to be extra careful this morning if they have to get out. Yeah, and so flooding is really what our main threat is. I had a question on social media asking about severe weather. We're no longer talking about that severe weather potential that ended earlier during the nighttime. It's just all about this flooding rain that continues to come down across the Tennessee Valley. So the heaviest rainfall is going to be ending by about about 8 a.m. So that's still almost three hours from now. I do think the heaviest rain will end in Chattanooga by about 6, 630. So that's a little bit closer of a timeline, but we're still going to have other spots that are getting those really heavy downpours. Now the overall system with rain showers will end by about 10 a.m., maybe a couple spots till 11 a.m. But overall take home points that this is a morning time event. But if you do have to get out this morning, maybe you're working third shift, you're watching us on your break and you're about to head home or you're at home and about to head into work. Here are the hazards that you need to be aware of. Low visibility in the rain. So just strictly having that rain coming down, your visibility is going to drop. Of course, standing water is going to gather up on the sides of the road, sometimes flowing across the road. That can lead to hydroplaning. Some of those really low-lying roads, these are the ones that we're the most concerned about. Flooding, so that means the road's completely blocked that you cannot drive through there. So do watch out. If you know that your morning commute typically takes you through a location that is flood prone, very likely it might be a flooded road for this morning. Additionally, there may be some tree debris in the roads as well because of some of the wind that we had with those initial storms during the overnight hours. So a lot to kind of focus on during this morning time, especially if you can wait until after sunrise, at least your visibility will be a little bit better with the sun up. Here's a look at our current radar. We are seeing improving conditions in Tennessee, so not as many uh, areas with the gold, orange and red colors, but still some heavy rain coming down in portions of Bradley County and Polk County. I want to slide you down to the south though because we're certainly seeing the heavy rain pushing through Alabama into Georgia at this time. This is all along I-75 so from Adairsville all the way up to the Tennessee line some heavy rain ongoing on I-75 that's going to continue for the next 15 minutes or so a little bit of a lightning break along I-75 and then another system will be pushing through probably about an hour and 15 minutes from that point. This is an hour from now so about 616 certainly seeing that heavy rain from Chattooga County all the way up through Walker and Dade counties at this time. So what are the chances of rain because we're talking about flooding now and we're still going to get more rain after this. So that 90% that's really for this morning time. We'll have some scattered showers again tomorrow, some rain on Friday morning, a little bit of a break on Saturday, but then more rain possible on Sunday, finally drying out Monday and Tuesday of next week. So first though, of course, we have to get through this morning. Here's a look at about 7 a.m. So you'll notice still some light showers in Chattanooga, but not as much heavy rainfall. Let's continue to push through by about 8 a.m. Most of that orange and red is now outside of our area. That's why I said the heaviest done by 8 a.m. By 10 a.m. then we're really seeing that residual green starting to push out of the region. Drier for the rest of the day, wind coming down from the north. By tonight, here comes another wave of some scattered showers, primarily for our Tennessee communities. And it'll stay that way through the day on Thursday, especially Thursday morning to the first part of the afternoon. Some scattered activity to the north in Tennessee and then drying out later in the day on Thursday. So again, not rainy conditions all day long, but certainly something we want you to be weather aware about today, particularly in the morning time. High temperatures today, upper 50s to low 60s. So we're not going to see big changes in our temperatures compared to what we're dealing with right now. Tomorrow will be a little bit warmer. Friday, a high of 60 and then cooler for the weekend. Saturday, only 48 and 53 on Sunday. Yeah, we're caught up on water for a while, I think. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, uh, we'll do with that dry out. I think that's going to help <laughs> every little thing. Uh, so yeah, Allison, thank you very much.